Hey everybody, Jim from Jim's Holy Sicolius. Hey, you know, it's been a few weeks. Uh, I apologize. I didn't mean to keep everybody in the lurch, sort of. Uh, it's the pretty much the end of the growing season here in New Jersey. Although this week we've been getting, I think pretty much uh, nationwide, one of my uh, my good friends, Brooklyn, up in Canada, she's telling me she's 104 degrees, crazy Fahrenheit. Okay, for those of you in the Celsius part of the world. Uh, but anyway, real hot here in New Jersey. Uh, I'm in the greenhouse. Uh, it's a little over 100 in here. I don't have the fan on. I don't keep the fan on anymore. I have some plants in here left over that I'm keeping for seeds. Uh, we're gonna, we're, we're, I'm continuing to harvest my seeds. I uh, wanted to do a quick shout out to everybody and thank everybody for a number of things. For following my channel. Uh, it's grown over the years more than I ever expected. I never intended on having uh, uh, 11,000 people following me and getting hundreds, you know, thousands and thousands of views, comments. Uh, learned so much over the years, I can't tell you. I, and I'm going to start to um, acknowledge people who've helped me over the years because I'll never, this will be a 50 or six, this will be like an hour and a half. So thanks to everybody. You think you know who you are. Uh, and anybody who just follows me, anybody who just clicks on my channel and, and becomes a new subscriber, thank you. You all help out because, um, again, I donate a portion of my money to all different organizations, good ones, USO, Wounded Warriors, Mar Morris Animal Foundation, uh, Adelaide Koala Rescue out in Australia, little organizations like that, um, USO, again, I mentioned. So thank you again. Uh, again, also um, upcoming eBay, Jim's Coleus Seeds. This year has been really, really strange. Um, it's probably the worst year, I think, for me. Um, it just, it, everything started late. It was cold and rainy, then really, really hot and rainy, and my plants didn't do too well in the middle of the season. I lost some, or they just degraded that's why I have so I do have a not a lot left over but more than I normally do because they weren't up to my standards to sell them. I would never sell them but I'm using them for seeds so anyway um, my point is everything is a little behind schedule normally I will have my seed listing over at uh, eBay Jim's Coleus around the beginning of October I might be a week or so late so just stay tuned uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll, I'll shoot out a short here or a quickie video to let you know that this, the listing has gone active. Or just go to Jim's Colius on eBay and hit notification, and you'll you'll be notified when my seed uh, listing goes active. But I'm going to try my best, try my best to get the seed started, listed rather, first week of October, and you'll be you'll be really really. Uh, I think you'll really be happy with the seeds, the amount of seeds I give you. Um, I've been selling them for a few years now, and I get nothing but rave reviews. Again, I give you enough seeds and really beautiful, all legal to propagate coleus seeds, but seeds that are just so much fun. And I can guarantee you that they will propagate if you follow my easy, easy videos. Um, and you don't have to you don't have to watch 50 million videos just a few on how to actually start them number one reason why coleus people don't uh people who choose to grow them by seed the reason why they fail is because they don't plant they plant the seeds incorrectly so anyway i'm going to show you uh if you're interested in growing and harvesting your own seeds it takes a little bit of effort it's time consuming so if you don't want to do that you can buy your seeds from me but i'll show you real quick seed stalks and when should you cut them because the seeds stalks need to stay on the plant for a period of time until they mature get pollinated and what when's a good time to cut them and i'll show you really quick uh some of the seeds that i have in here so i'm sweating like crazy it's 110 in here well not 110 it's a little over 100 it's like 105 104 we'll make it 104 just for brooklyn it's 104 degrees in jim's holy is coley's greenhouse so okay thanks again everybody for following along 2023 i hope 24 2024 is a better year so um but okay so let me show you some of the seed stalks that are developing 
and we'll close out the season. And I'm going to put together a little montage in another week or so on uh, the best of 2023 and all the beautiful coleus. So you have an idea of maybe some of the coleus that you'll get in the seeds that I sell on my eBay listing. There are seeds from the plants here featured on my channel, fresh seeds from plants this year, and they will germinate. So, okay, let's get going and I'll, uh, we'll, we'll show you how to uh, cut your seed stalks and so forth. We'll give you everything you need to know about seed stalks. Okay, so I have these, uh, I have just a handful in the greenhouse here. These are a rustic coleus with a pink. So uh, here are the seed stalks. Now these seed stalks have been on this plant for a good month. And they are getting pollinated in here. And you can see they're starting to turn brown a little bit. So I generally gauge the seed stalks. I want them to... I want them to grow longer now. They'll keep growing longer and longer and longer. I wait till they get around this length. Because you want as many seeds, or I want as many seeds. But for the homeowner who just wants a few plants, there's there's hundreds and hundreds of seeds on this stalk, stalk right here. So at this point, you see it starts to, uh, even though there's still flowers there, uh, I, I generally gauge how long the stalks have been on. And if they start to brown a little bit towards the bottom, which this one is, so this is is pretty much good to be cut. This is good to cut. And I'm gonna show you inside what you do after you cut your seed stalks. So you need to have them dry out and then separate them. So it's a, it's a lot of work. I'm not kidding you. And I harvest thousands of seeds. So it's, it's a lot of work. It's not as difficult as growing and spending time in 105 degree heat in the greenhouse, but it's, it's tedious work. But just as an idea, I'll, I'll show you a couple of other ones on the outside with some better daylight. But here's a rustic pink coleus, and these will be included in my Jim's Coleus eBay listing. see a little browning and you can see almost see the cradles the little dark ball that's the pod whoops I'm trying to keep this in focus that's the seed in the pod and what will happen is when you cut these and they dry out completely and it's important to let them dry out for a good few weeks till they get brown and brittle and then you just shake them and the seeds will just fall out okay so now these are my crimson gold. These are crimson golds, and I'll have these also. And these are really, these are great, and this is in full sun. And these are going to be really, really good seeds because they're developing sort of late in the season. So, um, but you can see here, this one's been on a good month. These are pretty much these longer ones. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give you these another couple of days, and I'm gonna cut them. And I, I spend a lot of time doing it during the day. I water these, and then if I see a stalk that needs to be cut, I'll cut it and bring it inside. And I'll show you the trays I keep inside. But here, you can see. Look at all of the seed stalks coming in. And this is still a pretty healthy plant. Another thing I do. These are my harvesting plants. Is I hit these with Bloom Booster Miracle Grow Bloom Booster, which boosts the flowers and boosts the seed stalk production because I want to get as many seeds as I can for you guys for my eBay listing and for myself so I can plant these next year but you can see I got tons and they're late they're late so I'm hoping that we have a very mild season so in the event that I don't get my listing going until the second week of October or possibly the end of October which is unlikely I will have enough seeds on my listing for everybody through, and I will have them continually. I had seeds for sale through February, so I will have seeds for you. So um, don't worry about missing out. But yeah, these are beautiful crimson gold. Okay, now over on this side of the yard, I have a Saturn, which is... These are very interesting. They're not 
prolific seed um, developers. Now this year, I got a lot of seeds relative to other years because these Saturns were very, they were just very stubborn and they weren't, they just didn't seed very much, but they're late and the seed stalks are very delicate, small. So I'm gonna see, based on my experience, how difficult it is to get these seeds separated. So, but I do plan on having some of these seeds for these Saturns. But again, if you really want some good Saturn plants, I highly recommend Rosy Dawn Gardens. Jot that down. Rosy Dawn Gardens, they sell live Saturn plugs, live Saturn rings plugs. I highly recommend you patronize them as well. If you want to get live plugs, I do as well. Even though I have tons of seeds, I always purchase from them a number of different coleus. But I will have some of these Saturn seeds on my listing. Okay, now uh, this year, here's my jitters. This is like a jitters uh, variation that I get every year. These grow very short and stumpy seed stalks. And this plant this year is started, is developing, is developing seed stalks very late, which means it's a good plant. Um, I had read about from coleus experts, growers, people who grow coleus for a living, that um, a, a, a coleus plant that develops seed stalks very late is, an, is a really good plant. So I'm excited and it's starting to really come in. So I'm hoping on a very late frost because I want to get as many of these um, jitters seeds as possible and you can see the development of seed stalks will degrade the plant it'll start to even though this is pretty healthy still you can still see a lot of washed out um, leaves so I still trim I come out here and trim um, bloom booster as well and this is separated from other coleus seed stalks so I I get as pure of a seed as possible. So when you plant these seeds, you'll get this plant or variation of a jitters, but you won't get a flamingo, although this flamingo refuses to go to seed, so I don't have seeds for this flamingo. So I keep a whole bunch of cuttings like this. This was from the mother plant. If you're following me along, you know this huge flamingo was from a, a three rootings cuttings from last year. And I have I already have a number of rootings in my house. And I'm going to get to those too before we close. So I, I keep these rootings. The rootings inside will be next year's plant. Again, they grow very stumpy. So I basically gauge how long these have been on and these, this one is just starting to open and flower. And I just gave this some bloom booster last week. And I guess by the end of this week, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give it another shot about every seven to 10 days. I'm trying to be a little more, I'm not gonna burn the plant, but I, I give it like a mild to medium amount of mixed, miracle Grow bloom booster plant food which really does wonders keeps the plant going and it stimulates the seed stalk growth except for these these refuse again these refuse to go to seed so that's the that's life okay here on the other end here i have this is sort of a colossal marble. Um, this one got cross pollinated and last year, two years ago, so I isolated this plant and I will have these on my eBay listing also. So it's a, a colossal marble, but it's got that beautiful pink splash in the center, almost like a wizard rose. So I'm gonna have these. So the offspring should be close to this. So these I will have on my eBay listing. 
so um, you can see try to get a little close up here you can almost see the seeds see the little round pouches those are the seeds and I'm still letting these develop these are these have been on a few weeks and I, ha I have a good amount of these and the same thing it'll start degrading the plant the more of these seed stalks start coming in the more but that's why it's important that I hit this with the bloom booster but you can see I already actually trimmed a few seed stalks off of this already and these are pretty much ready at the bottom you can see how they're brown so uh, these are pretty well mature these will be good seeds but I'm gonna let them develop a little further but I keep these out and separated got a lot of hummingbirds um, insects mostly for these smaller petals but we've got a lot of pollinators going on here and these are really going to be beautiful beautiful coleus for you I'll have these again on my eBay listing so okay on to the stubborn coleus they just never disappoint these fishnets same thing uh, last year I just took a bunch of cuttings but I buy these from Rosy Dawn Gardens every year I buy one or two plugs from Rosy Dawn and I did grow a few from seed I have I managed to get one seed stalk very late last season and I got maybe 20 seeds if that and because it was a very late seed stalk not many of them were sure and I only got a handful of fishnet plants to grow and I don't remember if this was one of the seeds that I grew or if this was from one of the rootings or the rosy dawn gardens plug I think I only bought one this year from them but regardless this is a fishnet it's doing really well here but no seed stalks so but that's okay um, I always keep rootings these are excellent candidates for cuttings they have really hardy stems so this is uh, actually I'm gonna cut this I think I cut two already from here um, but I always keep these as cuttings because they're very hardy they do really well they last all fall and winter into spring and then I just replant them every year sort of a mainstay here on Jim's Holiest Acolius I love these fish nets they're really cool you can see how they're starting to wash out a little um, didn't go too black because I, I put them here the this here gets a good amount of Sun but it's not baking Sun all day long what happens with this plant is if this stays in really sustained prolonged Sun all day long it gets black like here it gets like almost jet black so I moved it to an area that gets some shade it gets shade later in the day and it, it's done very well here so that's part of growing coleus experimentation growing the number of varieties and knowing based on your property what areas a specific variety will do better in and this is the best place for this one okay now over here in this mess over here is my defiance coleus this is one and you can see how washed out it is and drawn out because this has developed a lot of seed stalks so I will have defiance seeds on my eBay listing but again it's another one I usually buy from Rosie Dawn they offer them as plugs I'll buy one or two from them as well um, but this one is developing this year I got more seeds from my defiance coleus and this may have been from a Rosie Dawn plug or I did grow a number of them uh, by from seed so uh, but regardless this one here has gone to seed I already picked a number of seed stalks but that one's pretty much ready to be picked see how it's kind of browning these have been on a month at least but it got a lot of seeds coming in seed stalks coming in see how long that is so I'm just I'm letting these develop I'm letting them stay on as long as I can and that's why when I do sell my seeds they are 96 97 plus percent germination rate because I make sure that they are mature and they're fresh seeds from fresh plants 
and you don't need a green thumb all you need to do is follow Jim's Holius Sicolius here teach you how to plant your seeds and you can do this you can grow these magnificent planters and if you live in a, a non-frost area you can do that now you don't have to wait I'm in New Jersey we get a winter I take a break I need the break from sanity and um, there we go okay and closing off is the Lord Baltimore and uh, I believe that was from Lord, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter I believe it was Harry Potter I, it's one of the two somebody had corrected me on it um, it was so long ago since I saw both of those movies I can't remember them I always get those two movies mixed up although I know the, the carriages between them but Lord Voldemort I believe it was uh, Harry Potter but regardless this is a Lord Voldemort coleus and this again refuses to go to seed year after year after year I, I, I bought the first plug um, I can't even remember where I got it about five or six years ago maybe more and again never went to seed I it because it's a just like the fishnet it's a really hardy stemmed coleus it's an excellent candidate for cuttings and to make sure I have this plant every year I cut at least six to eight good strong stems because I want to make sure that I have the plant for the following season and you may lose uh, a cutting it's just the nature of it it's not that you're doing anything wrong you have to change your water and so forth but these are really beautiful and they make a great huge planter and I've been hitting this with the uh, bloom booster as well which is accounts for its its strength and how its richness is still and it's its color and vibrancy because there's no seed stalks developing so it's just growing now if there was a lot of seed stalks like the defiance then of course it would be down it would be degrading and so uh so i just keep trimming funny story i i did cut two of these last week to to put in bud vases and like two or three days later i look and one of the leaves had a huge hole in it like from an insect i'm like what i'm like oh and i and i normally check and that's another thing too check your if you do cutting root uh cuttings take my own advice i need to take my own advice check for insects so anyway i looked underneath and that's where these little guys will be hanging out and underneath was a baby caterpillar and he was chomping away so he had a nice meal so what I did is I brought him outside and I put him in another plant somewhere down the line. Um, so, uh, but yeah, check. And that goes for your overwintered plants also. A week before you bring your plants in, get some, check the soil, check the plant, make sure there's no bugs. You don't want to bring bugs in your house. Um, if you're not sure, get some insect spray soap. It's a very mild solution. Or you can look up on the internet, home. Um, insect spray a home remedy and just give it a little shot in the soil and the plant in general to make sure there's no insects before you bring them in but anyway that was kind of key that was kind of neat <laughs> that I looked and I had a, this beautiful Ward Voldemort and there was just giant holes in the leaf and and there he was in the bottom chomping away this cute cute little it wasn't a singe bug or nothing it was a it was a, cal a little baby caterpillar it looked like uh, but yeah, I love these long Lord Voldemort's. They're so hardy, and again, that's why they make great. They're great candidates for overwintering and stuff. But stubborn, stubborn, refuses to seed. Okay, and on the other side here is my Lord, um, is my Saturn rings, and this one here. This is the only stem that is gone to seed the rest of the plant has not so I'm gonna get these seeds and these will be for myself I'm not gonna have enough um, I'm not gonna have enough Saturn ring seeds to sell but 
you can get these from Rosie Dawn Gardens. They'll have them. Their listings will start in January or February. January of next year. So check them out. Rosie Dawn Gardens. They will. They sell these Saturn rings. I love the Saturns. And here's another Saturn. Um, this is just a leftover. Um, that I just keep in my property. This one didn't go to seed. So... Uh, I cut a few. I'm not going to have a, a lot of these. I'm not going to bring a lot of these cuttings in because I don't necessarily need them. Um, actually, look at that. One of them is going to seed. So, but these are together. Um, but these Saturn rings are cool. That's the difference between Saturn rings. Again, Saturn rings has a lot more of the green and a sliver of the of the purple or burgundy. As opposed to the Saturn, which has more of like a splotch of the green and more purple. But they're both really beautiful coleus. Among my favorites as well. So, we'll see. But again, these are very, just like the other Saturn, very thin, slow-growing seed stalks. And just based on my experience, difficult to separate. They were very, very, and another, another coleus, which I did not grow this year, I'll do it next year, is the Darth Vader coleus. Same thing, very, very late seed stalk developer, very um, delicate seed stalks, very tiny seeds compared to the other ones, but very, very thin and delicate small seed pouches. I had a heck of a time separating the seeds, so... Um, I don't look to make it more difficult for myself and and offer Darth Vader seeds. And again, you can get Darth Vader coleus at Rosie Dawn Gardens. Rosie Dawn Gardens is a great live plug coleus seller. So definitely check them out. But stay tuned for Jim's coleus on eBay or my seed listing. I'll have plenty of seeds. So you can grow lots of coleus. Okay. Um, just in closing real quick. Here are. Uh, this is basically how I. Um, dry out my coleus seeds. Uh, empires are the most popular. Most fun to grow. Colorful. Huge. Go to coleus. That I. have uh, that I sell and I grow. I grow them every year. And I get the most seeds. So. You can see some of the ones on the bottom. These are older, brittle. They're brown. See how brown and brittle they are? And here are some that I uh, I just picked yesterday. So I just keep them in this tray and let them completely brown out till they're brittle. And they'll actually, you can actually see um, the seeds will just fall out. Um, they're really not brittle enough yet, but um, the seeds will actually start to fall out, and I'll separate them. So I have them in each of these different trays, the Colossals, some Jitters, some Saturns back there. Uh, I have the Rustic Pinks, not a lot. Crimson Gold back there. What else do I have? Defiance. Um... And there's that surprise mix. And I have a few scarlets, not a lot, scarlet Kongs, uh, maybe a handful of mosaics. So, um, but yeah, these are, uh, this is basically how I do it. I let these sit and dry out for at least a month. And then I'll separate them and then package them separately into little baggies. And, and if you bought coleus seeds from me, you know they come in these little gray and these little green bubble mailers. And I'll ship them out to you and just store them in a cool, uh, you can put them in a refrigerator, um, cool dark place until you're ready to grow them next season. Or if you live in an area that you have no, that you grow plants all year long, good, good for you. You can, you can start planting them right away. Or if you want to, if you have a, a, a grow light in your house and you want to, if you want to start a couple of pots indoors now, you could do that as well. But again, uh, I give you a, a, a fair amount of seeds for yourself and to share with friends so you can grow lots of coleus. So, all right, so um, this is it.
I wish I can get this amount of seeds from all of my plants, but not every plant is, a, is as aggressive as these Kongs. And these Kongs give, you a, give me a lot of seeds and they're nice big stalks and the seeds come out real easy. They're easy to harvest. They're a pleasure. All right, everybody. So um, I'm glad that I, I really wanted to check in and see how everybody's going. I feel like it, it's been a month since I have uh, I've checked in with you guys. So <laughs> um, it was a, a long summer. It seemed like a long summer, but we had a good farmer's market this year. Sold a lot of hanging baskets this year. Uh, somebody had uh, I had mentioned over the years that my hanging baskets never sold very well. So I decided, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to sell them anymore. And I always, I hung them up on my awning at the farmer's market. As you can see here, uh, this is the, my awning. I always hung them up. So somebody has suggested putting them, putting, putting them on the ground so people can see the plants. Because not everybody wants a hanging basket and they have the option to cut the hanger. So I did that and I sold, I bought 12, um, I grew 12 hanging baskets and I sold 10 of them. I have two left over on the other side of my yard for myself actually there was one that i wanted to keep for myself because it was really beautiful but i brought i brought it to the my last farmer's market and somebody snatched it up i was like yeah. <laughs> that's i don't grow them to keep really but i do you know you know how it is i want to keep all my stuff i want to keep all my coleus for myself but um but yeah it's been a really long uh educational uh season this year it was um, not one of my favorite seasons, not one of my best. Just the weather was terrible, and the fires in Canada. We got a lot of the haze, and even today it's very hazy. We got a weather, we have an air quality warning, but although I'm by the ocean, it's not quite as bad. But it's pretty, it's pretty warm out, but it's not very, very humid. But anyway, I'm not here for the weather. Um, I'm getting off beaten track again. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank everybody once again for following along. Um, so stay tuned. We'll be back next season. Um, I will post a video on how I dry out, uh, how I actually separate my coleus seeds, and I'll be upcoming. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so again, head over to my eBay listing. I have a shirt listed there now. If you're interested in getting a Jim's Holiest a coleus shirt, I, I do. I don't. Uh, advertise them really but I do have a, a, a extra large there it's just a white shirt with my insignia if you're interested in buying that I have that listed but I put that on there because I want to keep my eBay listing um, open so if somebody searches they can find it but um, but just hit like the notification on eBay if you're an eBayer uh, or if you bought an eBay you can actually note click on notify when I do listing my listing does go active it'll notify you but if not Instagram here on YouTube I will shoot out um, a notification of one in one way or another when my uh, when the listing goes active and I'll, again I'll have um, you'll get about six to eight six to eight varieties of different coleus in marked pouches of what type of coleus they are whether it's empires defiance the rustic pink um, the the pink colossal um, you may not get all of those uh, if it was one particular variety that I have listed that you see that you really want just jot a note say hey I really want jitters so could you make sure you give me jitters and I'll make sure I, I fill that for you so but I, and I also have a surprise mix of coleus of varieties of different coleus um, I had a few friends and customers who brought me some seed stalks um, because they know I, I have I collect seed stalks they gave me some seed stalks and so I don't know what varieties they are they were from my plant so they're mixed in so I'm gonna have a surprise mix as well which is really the I enjoy that not knowing what you're planting because you never know you never know um, so all right so so save my eBay listing Jim's Coleus on eBay Thanks for following along, Jim's Holy Sicolius. It's all it's you guys that made this uh, made my channel what it is, and uh, I'm gonna take uh, take some time off um, and get the batteries recharged for next season. Um, 
but I do have some work ahead of me getting the seeds all ready to go. So, all right, so take care, everybody. It was good to check in again. I hope everybody is well. hope everyone had a good Labor Day, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Jim's Holy Escolius. Take it easy.